Everything I do in these videos is purely for experimenting with documentary style content and should not be repeated at home. Hi everybody, Timon speaking. Today, we're gonna have a very cool video. Check out what I got here. This is a predatory plant called Dionea flytrap. This used to be a pretty exotic species, but nowadays you can buy it in any flower store. As soon as I saw it, it caught my attention. This plant usually grows in swampy and mineral poor soils. That's why this little plant managed to hunt insects and feed on them. It is very curious, isn't it? By the way, this little plant is not as big as it looks. I hope that with time, it will grow and by winter, it will be able to eat all the flies I have in my studio. For now, we have neither flies nor winter. That's why I will do this experiment. I will place one of my ants near it and we will see if my little plant will be able to eat the ant. There is nothing to worry about. I love my ants and if it finds itself in danger, I will save it immediately. It will not suffer. Or at least that's my plan. Let's see what happens. This plant has very strange leaves. They have teeth. When an insect falls into its mouth and touches the microfibers with its little legs, the mouth slams shut and the insect is trapped. After a while, the plant begins to secrete a fluid that dissolves the poor insect and the plant can absorb all its nutrients. If you look closely, you can see the little hairs. Here they are. How cute. I'm going to try to touch them to see if the mouth is closing or not. It's closing, guys. It's closing. If it closes his mouth like this, it won't be able to catch any ants. Well, let's start with our experiment. We'll take a stick on which our little ant should go a little away from the edge. I place a substance on the stick that will prevent it from running away, but it will stay on the stick. Done. We open the lid of the formicarium and try to take the biggest ant we can. We got lucky and a big ant got on the stick at once. Then things didn't go so well as the ant didn't notice the chemical and started running up and down the stick. But that won't stop us. We placed the ant on the scene and watched. Of course, filming an ant running is not easy, but I will try to rotate the pot with the plant so that everything looks nice. Enough time has passed and all the ant has done is run without being able to fall into the plant. It's as if it knows it's dangerous to fall in there. There were a couple of moments where it almost fell in, but for some reason it didn't happen. My patience is wearing thin, but we must remain vigilant. At some point, the ant decided to leave, but then thought it over and came back. Maybe it understood that we must finish the experiment. But it got tired of running and decided to catapult himself out of here. 
but the experiment is not over and our runner came back. After don't know how long, the long-awaited event happened. It fell. Its mouth closed slowly but surely. The ant is trapped. See guys, inside it tries to get out by manipulating the leaves, but it does not succeed. Ants, as we all know, are very strong insects. They desperately stick their antlers out of the holes as if looking for help, and we, of course, come to the rescue. It took two sticks and tried to open the jaw of the predatory plant, but I didn't succeed. The leaves are too strong. I didn't want to hurt my little plant either, so I did it carefully. But I understand that with sticks, I won't be able to do it. They are too thick, and I can't get them between the flaps. We have to think of something urgently while the plant is still keeping my little ant alive. I thought of the following. I took two needles from syringes. They are much thinner and should fit between the flaps of the leaves. It was a very delicate job. I was afraid of hurting my plant, but also of losing my ant. My hands were shaking, but I had to do it. And I did. The ant felt the freedom and started to come out of the trap. It grabbed the syringe with its jaw and I was able to extract it. Then it finished coming out and came out on its own. The ant is free. See, it's cleaning himself up and getting well. That was a little stressful, but everything is under control. As you can see, it takes a few hours for the plant to convert the insects into food. So I had enough time to save my ant. Of course, I knew that later. The experiment has been successfully concluded. The ant is fine. The plant is fine. We have been able to see that this plant can catch ants very easily, even fast ants. Well guys, that's all for today. See you soon. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Bye!